Hello, my name is Samuel Ford and welcome to my channel Ford Plants. So, we start now with my favorite cross at the moment. This is a cross between Anturium Magnificum Dark and Actu uh, Anturium Luxuriens. The seeds were sown last year in June, so it's about eight months old now. So I really love my pipers. Piper is a plant, a pepper plant from South America. It's growing like a small herb or bush and has this beautiful silver shining leaves. The texture is like a luxuriance, anturium luxuriance. And of course we have different species from South America. This one has no name, uh, has more hairs on the leaves and it's much darker. Here you can see the flower of a piper. I think they need cross pollination and two different plants for successful pollination. So this is how we start our new plants. So we start with seeds, we grow our own seeds, so we pollinate the plants, and after about one to three months, we harvest the seeds. Um, for better germination, we put the seeds in water and let them rot a bit. So all the flesh is gone. And we can separate them and we sow them on sphagnum moss. It's normal sphagnum moss and a bit of fertilizer. On the bottom, well, sometimes, depending on the variety of species, we put um, perlite for better drainage. But here's the, just sphagnum moss. Takes about, so how old are these? Two months. So these plants are now two months old and are pretty good for separation. So here's a different anturium, but this one is about three months old. So after we put them in, uh, separated them, I need to grow for another three, two or three weeks. After that, we put them in small pots. Oops. Like here. And in this pot, they will stay another two months, about two months. After two months, Oh, this one is uh, probably mon a month in the pot. They are like this. Already big enough for sell, to sell. But that's not large enough for us. So we will repot them one final time. In this container, what is a 15 centimeter container? What is it? Five inch or seven inch, something like that. I don't know. And then can grow up to this, like 50 centimeters high, quite big. And this is how we start all our new anturiums. So every pollination gives us about 1,000 to 3,000 seeds. What is plenty of anturiums. Here I have a new anturium. This is Anturium magnificum narrow. It has really elongated leaves. And over there, I have the mother plant I will show you now. So Anturium magnificum narrow is a much shorter plant. It doesn't have such long stems, leaf stems, and has um, longer leaves and they're not so wide. It's a quite a nice plant. And it has, it, it grows like, in winter it doesn't grow much. It's more like a plant with a seasonal. It grows more in the summer, probably where it comes from, they have the rainy season. In the winter it doesn't grow much or at all. It doesn't matter if we put artificial lights on it or if it is warm enough, they just don't grow in winter. Here I have um, Leucocasia gigantea Thailand giant mint variegata, quite a long name. Um, it's also one of the most wanted plants, you can see the leaf here. And now I will show you the green variety, what is about four and a half months old from seed. What is this one here? Oh, well, they grow quite large. Four and a half months old. This is probably the same age, but in a pot. 
This one is grown from seed, this one is grown from bulbs because it's variegated. Anturium dorayaki silver. This species is grown from tissue culture, it cannot grow from seed. If it is grown from seed, it is not the real dorayaki. So this is the reason to grow plants from tissue culture and cuttings, it's just to have the same variety. It's like if you, if you grow it from seed, it's like if you take an apple and try to grow, to grow the same variety from the seed of the apple. It won't work. It's the same with every other plant, or nearly every other plant. I always wondered why Musa Nono is just shown when they are small and not large. I think it's because the variegation is just nice when the plant is small. So in the young leaves, it's a really, really good variegation. But the adult leaves seem to lose the variegation a little bit. So it's not so pretty when they're adult, just when they're small. It's the same with Musa um, Florida. It has a really nice variegation when the plant is small, but when it gets adult, it's green. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe so you don't miss any future videos.